Okay. So, today's discussion is mainly on the solution of the Schrodinger equation, not by analytical method, it is the numerical or computational method. Now, we have solved quantum mechanical problems, that is the main uh, motive of the quantum mechanical problem was to solve the Schrodinger equations. Now, to solve the Schrodinger's equation, we have considered many quantum mechanical problems. At first, we have discussed the 1D potential box. Square well potential for bound case. Two cases are possible. First, bound state in which energy is negative, and the second one was scattering state. More correctly, we can write. the potential involved that is the square well if we represent this suppose this is the finite potential v naught in region 3 and region 1 and in region 2 the potential is 0 so there are two possibilities either the energy is greater than the potential in this level or the energy is less than this finite potential. So the green color indicates energy is less than the potential and the red color indicates energy is greater than the potential. So if the energy is less than the potential then it is known as the bound state and if the energy is greater than the potential then it is called the scattering state scattering state means energy is greater than the potential. So these were the square well potential. The third application of Schrodinger equation was the free particle solution. Free particle problem. in which the potential acting on the particle is zero. The fourth application was simple harmonic oscillation or more correctly we can say linear harmonic oscillation. Linear harmonic oscillator potential. that is the potential is related by some half a m omega square x square if x be the instantaneous position omega be the angular frequency and m be the mass of the particle involved in this uh, motion. So and the last one was the hydrogen problem solution. Out of these, the first, the first one and the fourth one nearly are easy to solve. analytically easy means not so easy but easier as compared to the other uh, 2 3 and 5 solve analytically but in case of second 5th 
five and three you uh, you have seen in the theory that these are not very easily solvable by the analytical method not very easy to solve analytically whereas these are easy to solve numerically or by the help of programming or computational method computational method now let us first try to write the time independence Schrodinger equation Okay, so time independent Schrodinger equation. How can we write this? You know very well that minus h line squared by 2m grad squared psi plus v psi is equal to some e psi. This is an eigenvalue equation eigenvalue equation in which the left hand side indicates the total uh, Hamiltonian operator acting on eigenstate psi corresponding to this eigen uh, sorry corresponding to this operator and gives out to some eigenvalue e total energy with the eigenstate so in one dimension this can be written as minus h line square divided by 2m t2 psi dx2 plus v psi v as a function of x we consider the time independent Schrodinger equation so the potential must not depend on the time itself so the potential must depend on the position only and the wave function is also dependent on only position x as we considered this in one dimension so it is solely dependent on the one coordinate x so this can be written as e psi as a function of x so this is our uh, total time independence Schrodinger equation in <coughs> one dimension this is the time independence Schrodinger equation in one dimension so how to solve the question is now how to solve you have learned in the theory section that these applications mentioned here involves some special potentials which we apply here and we solve analytically but this is a tedious and time consuming task and not easy to solve up to uh, infinite order or some large amount of order we can only represent some uh, very small number of eigenstates suppose this is uh, 1d potential box infinity 1d potential box so the potential outside these is infinite so the particle cannot penetrate this wall and this is the against uh, ground state as you know very well that the energy is represented by n square pi square h9 square by 2 m with the width of the potential box of the square okay so the second term is represented by this term and the third so on but 
these are possible to draw or to calculate up to a limited order in limited order in analytical method whereas if you if you solve these with the help of computer then you can able to obtain a large number of eigen state large number of eigen state and draw them correctly without any extra effort draw them or plot them okay so that is the main motto from the numerical solution main motif of the numerical solution okay now the next thing is how to solve i must rewrite the time independence stored injury equation let me write time independent stored injury equation minus h nine square by two l. Of course, it is one d for simple calculation. D two psi d x two plus v psi is equal to v psi. Okay. So let us consider the domain of x is divided to uh, for simple calculation to finite number n. Suppose this domain of x is divided to some finite division n with this scaling. Okay. So if I represent the position by i then it may be represented by i equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on up to n and the separation between two grid points is d what is grid points if you grid this then the points obtained at the corner of the smallest square are called the grid points. Okay. So the dip distance between two grid points is small d. Now how to calculate small d? Which is nothing but xn minus x0 divided by some n. Now from the boundary condition as we deal some boundary value problem from the boundary condition we know very well that the web function at the two terminals is zero or finite according to Dirichlet condition this web function to become a well behaved one should have to be finite at the boundary walls but uh, here we consider the web function to be zero at the boundary that is psi x zero is zero and psi xn is also 0. Here, this is zero. Okay. So, this solution can be solved numerically by different method. But now I am introducing a very simple one which is known as the finite difference method finite finite difference method okay so let me write the formula involved in the finite difference method we know very well that the first derivative 
of any function fx with respect to x may be represented by h but here we have discussed sorry but we have imagined the distance of separation between two bit point bt so h is replaced by d f of x plus d minus of fx but the second order differentiation will be d square f of uh, x plus d minus 2fx plus x minus d okay so similarly you can write psi x also what you can write psi double prime x i is equal psi x i plus 1 minus 2 psi x i plus psi x i minus 1 okay divided by d square just similar to the previous formula so we apply these to the equation 1 Let me copy this. If you put the value of this in this equation, then you will be able to obtain minus h line square divided by 2m shy I double prime x1 shy x1 equal to sign mu shy x1 where it is for i equal to 1 if we place the value of 1 in equation uh, value of 1 in i then we will be able to obtain this so this is shy i so if we place the value of 1 in the place of uh, in the position of i then we will be able to obtain this so after this we will replace shy double prime x1 with this formula so we will be able to obtain this shy x2 1 plus 1 2 minus 2 shy x1 plus shy 0 sorry x0 plus v shy x1 v also function of x1 is e shy x1 okay so after simplification we will be able to obtain shy x2 minus plus 2 shy x1 minus 2 m d square 
by h line square e into psi 1 sorry v into x1 psi x1 okay so what is the value of this term this is the zero as we have said already that sorry at the two boundary walls the wave function vanishes so we place here the value of psi x0 zero, 0 so this is nothing but psi x1 now this can be written as 2 plus this is plus sorry 2m d square divided by h line square sorry v x1 psi x1 minus psi x2 e into 2md this is uh, here we have multiplied the reciprocal of this term so 2md square by h line square so here it is also multiplied with some 2md square by h line square 2md square by h line square psi x1 so this is the final expression what we have obtained here so this is obtained for i equal to 1 similarly we can also obtain for i equal to 2 for i two the Schrodinger equation can be written as sorry this can be obtained by putting the value of this this we can similarly write this plus we can multiply this by 2m d square by h line square to both side this and this so we will be able to obtain 2 plus 2m d square by h line square just similar to the first case but in case this is vx2 psi x2 minus psi x3 some 2md square e divided by h line square into psi x2 so now you can generalize this expression for i equal to 3 also what we can write psi x2 here you can see that in case of i equal to 2 this is i minus 1 so psi x1 so here we can also write psi x2 for i minus 1 plus 2 plus 2md square divided by h line square vxi what is the value of i here i equal to 2 so vx2 what is the value of i here i equal to 3 so here we can write vx3 psi x3 minus what we can write here i plus 1 
in case of i equal to 2 this is i equal to 3 i plus 1 equal to 3 so here i equal to 3 so we can write so x4 equal to 2mb square e upon h9 square shy x2 you may thought that this is very lengthy process but believe me this is the most simplest case as we can also obtain by numer of method now what is the main motto is to form a matrix and satisfy the eigenvalue equation so we can generalize for i equal to n minus 1 why i am choosing i equal to n minus 1 as you know that i equal to n shy xn is equal to 0 so we will not choose i equal to n we will choose i equal to n minus 1 so this can be written as shy here i minus 1 show x n minus 2 plus 2 plus 2m d square upon h line square d x n minus 1 shy x n minus 1 minus shy x n now this is 0 2m d square upon h line square into e shy x n minus 1 so if I list out these expressions uh, for this we have I have to copy the expressions so this was the first expression of 10 by placing i equal to 1 for i equal to 2 equal to 3 for i equal to n minus 1 Okay. So all these are the equation what we have obtained by calculation. This was the case for i is equal 1, this was the case for i is equal 2, this was the case for i is equal 3 and dot dot dot. Continuation and this was the case for i 
n minus 1. So here i runs from i equal to 1 to i equal to n minus 1. I cancel the term for i equal to 0 and i equal to n just because at the boundaries the value of the wave function 0. So these were not chosen. Now what is the motif of writing these equations? Let me name these equations as 1, 2, 3 and so on. I have to represent these in a compact form by matrix notation. What is the first element here? If you carefully notice, let me first write the wave functions. Then it will be very easier to calculate their coefficient. Psi x1, psi x2, like this, psi x n minus 1, because i runs from 1 to n minus 1. So these are the eigen functions. This is represented by this. This is eigen value with the eigen function same. So the coefficients are this, the coefficient of psi 1 is this. So let me write the coefficient of psi 1 by 2 plus 2m d square by h line square 3x1. This is the coefficient of psi x1. The what was the coefficient of psi x2 in equation 1 minus 1 if you carefully notice then the other coefficient are 0. So what was the next what was the value of the psi x1 coefficient of psi x1 for second equation minus 1 minus 1 what is the value of the coefficient of psi x2 this so 2 plus 2 m d squared by h n square v of x2. What is the coefficient of psi x3? Minus 1. So again minus 1. And our other coefficients are 0. Similarly, you can also able to obtain this. What is the coefficient of psi x1? 0. What is the coefficient of psi x2? Minus 1. What is the coefficient of psi x3? This. 2 plus 2md square upon h line square v of x3. What is the coefficient of psi x4? Minus 1. And so on. So, you can also generalize these now. All the diagonal principal diagonal elements are 2 plus 2md square by h line square into v of the position x1 the value of i 1 2 3 so we can generalize these by saying that here the last row and last column term is this v of x n minus 1 so this is minus 1 just like this and The previous one was this and the previous one is this and all other are 0. Okay. So, 
if I represent this matrix by capital A and represent this by X eigenvector and this by the eigenvalue lambda, this by the eigenvector X, then we can say that A X is equal to some lambda X. This is the eigenvalue equation. From this equation, if you find, if you can able to find eigenvalue of A, then you will be able to obtain energy eigenvalue. And if you able to obtain the eigenvector of A, then you will be able to obtain energy eigenfunction. That is at all. So, this is the very simple method as compared to the numer of one. Simple method as compared to numero but the solution of eigenvalue and eigenvector is something little difficult to obtain but not so difficult as obtained by numero so if you able to solve the eigenvalue and eigenvector by programming you may use scilab or MATLAB or Python. In Python, you may have uh, some inbuilt program to find out the eigenvalue eigenvector. So, it is very easy task to calculate this. In this way, you can calculate up to a very large number of eigenstates with a simple program and not by the analytical method as you have learned in the theoretical sections. So, thank you. These are the all of today's discussion. Thank you.